Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Lumen Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Receiver Twin and some of the things that are happening right now. So as some of you may have noticed, there's been a split in groups. There have been people who don't really understand what's going on. And there's other people saying, finally, 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 it's here. And why is this? Because some of you are the receiver twin. Now, you are the one in your union who is receiving the higher aspects of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. You're about to come into your physical union. And I will also say here, enjoy the last of your single days because you're going to come together and what you've been receiving and holding is vitally important. So this is no longer a group and you're going to see splits in the groups and, you know, not everyone likes that. Some people are becoming very confused by it. And yes, some of you have firmly left 3D. You can feel it. You've experienced it. You've cried about it. You've had feelings of grief, sadness arise. And this is a firm parting of the ways. It has to be that way. These are the individual unions who have awakened and people have responded. Now, I do know that there's people who've gone to sleep on their own awakening. And it could be one of you or both of you. It's usually both of you. And yet there's other people who have just been called forward and you're ready, ready to be the wide receiver. You're ready to be the one that, that someone's saying, get ready, get ready to catch it because it, I'm going to toss it out to you. And you feel like you got called up to like kick the ball in the World Cup or something. You're like, me? Me? Us? Really? We're doing this? Yes, you're doing it. And it's exciting. And for other people, they might be scratching their heads. And yet some of these have been individual choices because people haven't known what to do or how to be who they came here to be. So this is also a testament to their commitment to love. And some people have felt that, well, I'm just crazy. I'm listening to the promptings of my heart. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to this place. I know of eight people who crossed an ocean to go to their love somehow because they felt called. That is the commitment to love that we are looking for. Not only moving heaven and earth, not only arranging your things, but if you feel the call of your heart, how far will you go and not be talked out of it? crossing from America or North American continent, South American continent to Europe, to Africa, from Africa to the United States, from Europe to the United States, from the United States to Australia, from Australia to Europe, all kinds of people crossing oceans for the sake of love. And I'm going to say this. Many of you have been a fool for lesser things than love. Don't doubt your heart. Go with what you feel. Your soul isn't going to ask you something that's completely out of the realms, even if you have children or other responsibilities. It will happen. And it is important because it's this ability to feel and discern and just go that is being sought for. You have to know each other. You have to feel each other even across the miles. So the way for this has already been finalized and set in motion by the Blu-ray, especially the Rod and Staff union couples, usually one person in the union. The new grid is in place. It is important to be in your grid point or to somehow have connected to your grid point. And it's important to love your twin. Keep loving your twin. That's the person you're going to be living with forever. And even though that sounds scary to people, you're, if you're letting your ego mind scare you about it and go, oh, I don't know, I don't know about that, 
you're removing everything that could ever make you fear it or hesitate or not be sure somehow. Okay, so please love your twin. So I have a little depiction for you. And as you know, once we pass through July, July was really intense for people. Then we hit the Lion's Gate. And that Lion's Gate was like this. There are some people, some people chose to roll right back into 3D. Whoa, they went back down into 3D. Other people literally, other people literally jumped onto another timeline. Sorry, onto another timeline and continued. And they could feel it because you could feel the door close behind you. Boom. It closed behind you. And you're continuing to go, go, go. And you're saying, well, where's my twin? I did it. I know we felt it. I know we closed something. I know we put a whole bunch of things behind. Things fell out of me. I could feel it. I'm crying. I'm grie I've had a state of grief. You're parting ways. You've definitely parted ways. And some of you felt this as though you got picked up by your solar plexus and carried and set safely down in a brand new time and place. And it's still lonely. And you're saying, but, but where? Where am I? What is this? It's so new. I don't know. But the knowingness is there in your heart. And you've left that place that you used to live in down here. You've firmly left it. You are the receiver twin. You're the one who is the wide receiver pulling in everything that is your higher essence coming to you. Hold steady. If you get the signal to stay put, stay put. If you start getting restless and you're like, nothing's happening and your mind is saying, travel somewhere, do something. But you know you need to stay put, stay put. There's a really good reason for it. And the reason is your true love. It's coming to you. Why? Because that person has frequently been the one hoisting you up, getting you up there. And if you've gotten up here, and not only that, you've been pulled up by their higher aspect. You've been firmly pulled up into place by their hire. They've been pulling you and flying you and saying, don't worry, I'm going to fly you. Don't worry, just fall asleep and receive me. I'll get you up and out of here. But yet, if that person is there and starts to look around and says, wow, there are all these soulmates at this level. I have such a soul recognition of my soul family. And ooh, ooh, Oh, there's a pretty face or there's a handsome face. Your twin flame is actually saying, hey, what about me? Their heart is saying, hey, what about me? And that person might say, but what are you talking about? You were so mean to me. I didn't understand it. You seemed like that addiction was more important. And yet their heart will say, more important I've been without your love for centuries, for lifetimes. I needed some comfort. I needed to self-medicate. Everything was too painful being here. Did you see where I've been living? Did you see what it's like here in karma, how people lie, cheat, steal, kill each other? It's scary. This is a scary place. Help me out of here. It's incumbent on her to continue helping. Keep helping. As the receiver twin, love your twin. If you don't know, you're tuning into their state of being. What do they need today? How are you going to get yourself in alignment? For a lot of you, you know you've done this already. You know it, and you're saying, finally, finally, that's been an intense five years, or that's been an intense ten years, or two years, whatever it might be. Nobody's pain is, is more than another one's. Everybody's pain is subjective to, you know, how, how you are and what you've been through. So the other things that I want to let you know about this is that just like something that you would set into place, for example, 
how he has the grid been set into place. Sorry, I'm looking for my other thing here. There it is. All right, so the grid work has been done, but these, these are high level connections. How has it been done? So I'm gonna use the analogy of the Eiffel Tower. And this spire at the top, how did it get there? Okay, usually someone didn't just come and like place it. You had someone at the top with, with the connection with it. So you had, you know, usually when this is done here on Earth, you have a helicopter or something, a crane or something, and you have several people because this is done with precision, it is orchestrated, it is perfectly safe, and yet it takes the time it takes to get it all into place. And you'll have it, you know, it might be swinging in the wind, and yet the people are like, lower it, lower it, lower it. The Blu-ray rod and staff people here on the ground level are the ones here at ground level. We are guiding it into place through our own bodies until it clicks in, goes right through, and then it's back up again. So who is doing this? These are usually your higher aspects up here. It's your own higher aspect helping you to get the proper grid work and connections right into place in a very similar way. And in a similar way, how many of you have ascended? And now that you feel good, a lot of you feel good. You're like, I'm healthy or I'm eating right. I stopped smoking pot. I stopped taking those medications. I was able to wean myself away. You cannot turn to your twin and say, oh, you poor benighted soul, someone will come along and I don't know, maybe it's for some other lifetime. Bull Loney, you are connected to them. It's incumbent on you to help them. And not only that, it's been made easy now. Now to help you further, I have several webinars that will help you with this. And I feel guided to say which ones are pertinent at each time when I make a presentation. So the links will be down below, but it will be the human body in transition. It will be my abundance webinar. It will be the new lives, new timelines. That's for people where this is brand new to you. That's going to help you quite a bit to know what, what are we talking about out here. Also, if you want to do your own personal grid work, and some of you will feel prompted to do it, where you feel a prompting to go to a place, get on a plane, go take care of something, go eat at a certain place. You might get called out of the ordinary and you don't know. The harvesting your love, where you can gather in everything that belongs to you, this one will help you with that. Now, this energy feels very strange to people. It really does. It feels weirder than you might have expected it to feel. Why does new energy feel like this? You're in the new. Why does it feel like this? And I have a very simple explanation for you. You are, for some of you, you are finally at the level where you're quite simply able to hold your union. You may not physically be with your twin. Or maybe you are with your twin. But you are holding the awareness. This is the receiver twin. You are the one holding the awareness of your union and the communiques, the high energy, the small energy, the earthly energy. You're actually finally at a point where you're in your union space and you're quite simply the holder of your union. That's what that means. So if you would like to be there and you don't know what to do, check it out. These are very reasonable. These are not only information, there are exercises to open your channels and help you to hold and maintain properly, as well as light codes. So there's quite a bit of material. It's here to support you. That is what I teach. I teach about the light body because to me it does no good to 
put labels on things and say, I love you, but you're a narcissist or I love you, but you're de it's like saying your twin is defective. That makes you defective if you're saying it. Those are your defects that you're seeing mirrored back to you, whether they're character defects or they're family lineage defects. There are things that you can do. And twin flames don't mess around with years and years of therapy. They can, and many people have been. But if you feel that you want to have those quantum leaps, check out my stuff. That's not to discredit anyone who is doing therapy. In fact, if you are, I applaud you. It's good to seek any and every help that you possibly can to help you continue on your journey. However, my stuff is twin flame specific. So not everyone you go to will have a context. They'll work on you. They won't work on you and your twin at the same time. That'll, that's some of the differences. That's the difference between a twin flame and someone else. A twin flame knows, especially a blue ray, will know things. Why? Because we've usually been there and we can feel it. And I'm not in this position because I didn't hone my skills at it. I'm teaching it. I'm turning around and I'm teaching it. And so if you, if you do feel that there's maybe some additional help that you can benefit, check it out. There are things to know about what the masculine does that I also cover in this. So a lot of people will um, sometimes denigrate whether it's uh, the female who holds the masculine, whether it's the male that holds the masculine, or if you are a lesbian, or if you're in a gay union, or if you're in a transgender union. Gay and lesbian and transgender twin flames do exist. And by the way, at least in my country, it's not legal. It's legal in several countries. So there is a reason for that also because the grid is in place and it's starting to lighten up so that everyone can be with their true love without any of the false connotations that love has taken. We've cleared quite a bit here. So if you are, if you are the one holding your union space, you'll know it. And yeah, it, you're going to be up there. You're up there. Ooh, you're up there. But, you're also still for the next part. Now, some of you come November, come the end of this month of October into November, you're simply going to magnetize right into each other. You're going to have some form of an energetic exchange. The receiver twin will energetically exchange what they're holding to their twin flame. However, you're not going to be holding the highest capacity if you haven't gotten your channels open. So that's a double reason for getting going with your light body. There are connections that only you can open so that you're ready, so that you have a very easy melting into each other experience with things. Now, there are things that um, people are throwing around out there. Twin flames is not a concept. It's the, actually the type of being you are. It is your essence. What's interpreted as a flame is your essence. There are people here who are divine counterparts who are here to receive the brand new light body. They're not going to light up that template, that blueprint for themselves until the blue rays fire up the grid. So if you're a Blu-ray, if you're kind of just getting awakened and you're like, hey, something woke me up and I just felt this urgency that I got to go, I got to be here, I got to do this, I'm getting all these signals, guess what? You just got called. Someone else might have fallen asleep, but you responded. Thank you for responding. And not only that, you're going to be loving your twin when you do this. So thanks so much for listening. Um, thanks to everyone who participated in my abundance webinar. I'm doing a part two in November that I'll announce the dates of. I hope that you have a really great weekend and week. I have helped several people um, by coaching them through some of the life transitions that they're going through, whether it's 
a divorce, whether it is um, a geographical move. If you need some clarity, I am available for that. And once again, thank you for being here. You're all important and you all are bringing something to the table. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.